So that's how we train our animals here. We find out what each one likes or what they find reinforcing. And when they do one of the behaviors that we would like them to repeat, we give them what they find reinforcing. Oliver, he really finds reinforcing a lot of attention from different people, like this whole audience out here. He likes to look at new things, just like he's, he's looking at you guys through the glass right now. So he finds that reinforcing. So we need to come up with stuff when he goes to the back that he likes even more than the attention from all of you guys. So that's our job as trainers. And there might be a few job openings after this show. So if you all want to be a trainer, I can let you in on that. You might want to become a trainer over here. So I'll go back to a little bit about how we train our animals. As you can see, we can only ask them very politely to do what we would like them to do. And they have choices. If they choose to do that, we'll give them lots of things that they like. So what do you think a blue whale likes? Other than attention, maybe. Fish, that's right. They really, really like fish. So fish is one way that we can reinforce our animals, tell them that was exactly what we were looking for. It's called a primary reinforcer. Anything that they physically need to survive. So food. But fish is just one of the many, many, many ways that we can reinforce our animals. It's up to us as the trainers to come up with all sorts of ways to reinforce them. So Oliver likes attention, he likes playtimes, and there's all sorts of different playtimes that we can do. Sometimes we enter the water and we swim with our whales for our playtime, and sometimes we even put on scuba gear so we can stay under the water with them and play with them for an even longer time. The whales even have several of their own iPads. Pretty cool, right? We can show them all sorts of stuff on those iPads under the water. We have special waterproof cases, and sometimes they listen to different music, and sometimes they watch different videos, or even play different apps. It's really fun to be able to use technology to reinforce our animals. And then we have all sorts of different um, enrichment devices that we can put in the water for them to interact with. Some of them have little pulley balls that float or that they can toss around. Some of the devices even sink down to the bottom of the water or will connect them so that they can go down and push them around. So it's a lot of fun for us to find different ways that we can reinforce our animals. So we'll talk about a little bit about how you become a trainer. I think I just got a cue from the back that he made his way back here, didn't he? He did. Well, thank you so much for your patience and understanding with this. And thank you so much for listening about our amazing animals here at Whale and Dolphin Theater. And we'll continue on with the show. So